Good morning, wonderful YouTube friends. Jamie Hepworth here, and I have an exciting surprise for you. My friends on Facebook, I asked them if they would be interested in me making a holiday gift guide. Um, I am a homeschooling mother of five young children, and so I have over a decade of wonderful things that I've purchased for my kids. I'm pretty picky about what I buy from them for them. I like to choose things that will help them develop skills. I like them to do the work with the toys or tools that they use instead of the tools or toys using them. And what do I mean by that? You know, there are some toys we call Vegas toys. You click a button and it shoots up fireworks. <laughs> These are not the kinds of toys that I give my kids. And I think that the fruits of uh, choosing wisely when it comes to my kids' toys and the gifts that I give them has really helped their development in important ways. So I'd love to share with you what it is that I put together this guide, but Facebook is limiting my ability to share my document because they don't like my, my website platform. So I thought I would just do a quick video and show you a little bit about what I've got going on here. So you can see what I've done and we'll have a quick overview and I'll put the link to this guide. If you're interested in seeing it in depth and being able to like click on all the pictures that are hyperlinked. Um, so you can have an easier time Christmas shopping this year if this is of interest to you. And if this is not of interest to you, this isn't usually the kind of thing that I do um, on my channel. So I understand if you're not interested, but if you are, take a look. So I have a lot of gifts that are centered around um, babies and toddlers. I've got a lot of Montessori inspired gifts. Um, the play kitchen setup is really fun over here. We've got this one, but I also put another, another one here that is more budget friendly. I have lots of really happy play things, dress up things. I've got puppets, finger puppets and hand puppets, puppets that are made from reclaimed wool, puppets that are realistic. And then here I've got a guide for Waldorf style dolls. Now these dolls are handmade and they're really hard to come by. There's always some like knockoffs from, um, foreign countries being shipped over. If somebody's trying to sell you a Waldorf doll for under a hundred dollars, it's probably too good to be true. Don't believe it. <laughs> so, um, so I do have some resources to help you. There are places on Etsy that sell dolls, but at this point it's probably too late to get it in time for Christmas. So you can check out this Facebook group that's private. They have used dolls, um, up for adoption there and you can also see um, there are options for making your own doll and there are resources to be able to do that there now we can also see here i've got like all of the playhouse stuff i have playhouse um, like a dollhouse in a book and i have a really great hape dollhouse here and i have a much smaller dollhouse here but I like all these little wooden hape figurines. They're really sweet and um, more natural materials are always great to have. There's this cute little mouse in a matchbox. And there are a bunch of little tiny stuffed animals in these matchboxes that are just adorable and would be a great gift. These are such sweet stuffed animals. They are knitted with organic um, yarn and the people are paid a fair wage so it's like a fair trade item and they also donate food to people in need it's a really great cause um here you'll see that i talk about making tea i have a book that has a list of herbal tisans or herbal infusions with just tons of different recipes it's a really helpful recipe book i do not like drinking herbal teas with the plastic um the plastic grab and go tea bags because then you're drinking microplastics in hot water 
And so to avoid that, I buy loose leaf herbs and then I make up my own mixes and then I put them in a French press. You steep the herbs in the bottom of a French press for like 20 minutes with the boiling water there and you press it down. And then after 20 minutes is over, then it's ready for you to drink. Um, you can also use these little spoons that can hold loose leaf herbs and clamp them shut. And then you can stick that into um, hot water in a cup. And these are just cute spoons anyways. I like these teacups. They're really cute in different colors. But something that I did to get my collection together was to go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls, stores like that. And they always have a bunch of teacups. And I just got all different kinds and so my set doesn't look like it's so matchy so that may be a fun thing to do to consider um but I really love mountain rose herbs for getting my loose leaf herbs Monterey Bay herbs is uh, pretty good too as an option but Monterey but mountain rose is my favorite you can see here my son is like super influencing this page We've got resources for having praying mantises as pets, resources for building your own planted aquariums, resources for ant farms, uh, triops, and roly polies. Did you know that roly polies can be orange and all manner of like polka dotted and stripy and spiky? There's actually some really cool roly polies. Okay, here you can see there's more about carnivorous plants. My son wanted me to, to include this link to this wonderful YouTube channel for anybody who wants to get into terrariums or plod, uh, pladariums, I think that's how you say it, or aquariums. This guy knows what he's doing. My son has learned a lot from him as a mentor. These are some of the critters that you put in the, <laughs> the ground of a terrarium to keep it cycling and healthy. And these are some of the plants that you can use. This is a stand for um, doing cuttings of plants to, to propagate more house plants. Okay, so there's lots of options, but my son, he started with this Hungry Plants book, but it wasn't too long before he was reading these books. His most favorite books book on carnivorous plants is the Savage Garden book right there. Okay, so you'll see on the subscription-based gifts for enhanced learning, I have Baby Bug, Ladybug, and Cricket. These are all great literary magazines um, that are so fun. I especially love Baby Bug because it's printed on this um, almost waterproof kind of uh, paper. It's almost like kind of laminated so babies can chew on them, they can hold them, they can look at them, and they can really interact with it without damaging it. But the stories are sweet and they're really great. When my kids were all little, we consistently had subscriptions. Um, my mom would often subscribe to these magazines for us, and I, I really liked them, so I recommended those here. You can see I have a recommendation to get an All all Trails app subscription so that you can have more benefits to not only knowing where to hike, but um, there's lots of other things that you can do that can be a great gift to give somebody if they're not really wanting to have more stuff around. If you're a homeschooler like me, um, and, you know, somebody's asking you, what can I give you? Ask them to buy your kids math from teaching textbooks. Man, my kids are really enjoying math on teaching textbooks this year. Also, Duolingo, the Super Duolingo has a family plan. And if you subscribe, you can um, just have an ad-free experience and it can be more personalized. The Duolingo app is wonderful for learning foreign languages. My kids love it. And they don't know this yet, but this year they're going to be getting the Super Duolingo as a family. This is something I'm going to subscribe to for them. But this can be a wonderful gift that you can give um, a family if, if you think that they would be into learning a foreign language that way. I also love the Tuttle Times. It's a magazine we subscribe to once a month. It's um, a libertarian Liberty oriented magazine for kids. Connor Boyack started the Tuttle Twins series, which my kids love. And this is a magazine based on those same concepts that comes to our door every month. I love it. Like the last one we had, I mean, there was Wilbur, um, William Wilberforce is being talked about in there. And, um, you know, they talk about issues like inflation or being prepared for a rainy day. It's really fun. I love 
I love the Tuttle Twins, all of the stuff that they they put out. But the Tuttle Times are a really fun gift that you could give for Christmas. Okay, I have audio-based gifts over here. You'll see the Chronicles of Narnia set here is is an absolutely phenomenal gift. Um, all of the the books that I have listed here, the, all the audio books are from the Focus on the Family Radio Theater. I just often will go check out what Focus on the Family Radio Theater has available that I haven't already purchased. And I just buy whatever's there because we always like what they have. We've listened to Little Women, Secret Garden, Anne of Green Gables, The Back of the North Wind, Screw Tape Letters. Um, I think we've also listened to Ben Hur. There's so many. And the Chronicles of Narnia that they do is just wonderful. So these are all wonderful gifts that you can give if you want to give an experience of enjoying a book together. And it like really makes car rides fun. If you're planning on doing any traveling, go for an audio, an audio book set. Now, this is a set of 12 CDs, and I think you can also buy the MP3 version if you'd like. But these are the Maestro Classics. They're famous classical music but they do it in the context of narration and they make it a fun story to be able to listen to and learn about the music so I really recommend that we've had those cds and enjoyed them for years um magnet tiles are a staple in our home I never really did the lego thing because I didn't want to hurt my feet every time they were scattered about the house so we don't really do legos around here but we do magnet tiles and I'm pretty amazed at the spatial awareness that they create for my children even my three-year-old can really do a good job building with these and my children as old as 12 still take time to play with these things like they are a classic staple building toy and as many sets as you bring into your home your children will find a way to use so I really recommend magnet tiles we really love those um the next ones down here are snap circuits there are lots of different sets of snap circuits they're really interesting this is a good starter set and this is a snap rover that my son really liked and then these are all engineering sets to teach you really how to code and how to work with electronics um, the one on the bottom is a more advanced, like driving robot, kind of like the Rover, but it's more, um, it's more complicated. And so you can learn how to put together complicated circuits and really do some electrical engineering and some coding. If you go with these, the, I think it's Elegoo and I can't remember the name of this other company. This is a, an expansion kit that's compatible with this one. So, um, when you click on these, they'll bring you to the links to these items. They're really cool. Um, my son loves this Bear Grylls book on extreme food, and he's learned a lot about what he can and can't eat um, if this stuff hits the fan, but also just because he's a boy and wants to eat bugs and do funny things sometimes. This butane stove has been so helpful um, on our camping trip uh, this last year up the Oregon coast. It was the most convenient way to cook and um he's loved it he's loved loved having the independence of having his own stove that he can use sometimes but this is something we would totally recommend this is a wool blanket super great for preparation this is a little mini berkey my son absolutely loves his filter and he brings it on every hike that we go on so he can harvest water anywhere we're hiking to make sure it doesn't have any contaminants and we can drink it um this is the book the hatchet great classic on wilderness survival and then i've got a couple of knives here i've got a great swiss army knife and a moroccan knife also i've got a first aid homeopathic kit you'll see here in gifts for the scientists that i have a really nice microscope that's listed and it comes with an usborne book and some blank slides i also put down here a set of slides that are pre-prepared with a bunch of interesting things in them it makes looking through a microscope so much more interesting for kids totally recommend that i love the books by this author they're just gorgeous and i don't know the name of the author i can't even see it right here but um we have all of the books in that set and we my kids just love looking at them they're just really appealing the periodic table book by usborne is a good one but it's got all the lift the flaps it's an engaging way to learn about the elements 
And this is another one we're going to be trying out this year, this chemistry set with um, heavier duty chemicals and a little bit more complicated experiments. So I'm excited to see how this one goes. I think this is one that needs more parental supervision from all of the reviews that I read. Also, we have a rock tumbler. Rock tumbling is great. If you go hunting around outside on hikes, find things that you think are beautiful and then tumble them and you'll be amazed at... Um, the beauty that is brought out in doing that. When my kids first started to be interested in rocks, this is the first book that I bought and I put it on the table and I just didn't even say anything and they just got it. And then they, they kind of like siphoned it away and they, um, you know, quickly were able to recognize a lot of rocks and minerals and gems that they were finding when they were out and about because this book had become part of our family library. Um, I love these, um, these old print what print type setting uh drawers they're really great for storing all of the sweet little findings that you find on nature walks and hikes and so that's why i have that listed there i also have here a a press for pressing flowers i've got an amazing coloring book by Audubon it's they somebody took Audubon's beautiful artwork and then just left the outline so you can see his version of it right next to the one that's open so you can actually practice doing some really great coloring I really love what they did in this coloring book the Audubon field guide books are also excellent and these are really good binoculars um none of those like kitty uh, binoculars that don't really do anything these are really nice and this wild craft game is a cooperative board game that teaches your kids herbs and you'll be able to recognize them and know a little bit more about how to use them in uh, difficult situations like first aid type situations um, we absolutely love the paul rubin watercolors they have a solid colored set and they also have this shimmery set the shimmery set is super fun and unique um, but the solid set is also gorgeous and this is a, a paper a watercolor paper block you have to use an artist's knife to be able to cut it but it will make the little um, artists in your home feel like a professional to receive such beautiful wonderful paints these uh, prisma colored pencils are also wonderful totally recommend those this case is wonderful for storing all of your colored pencils and markers and um, and it comes in a lot of different patterns as well. So if you're not super into this pattern, know that there are a bunch of others too. This is a really helpful watercolor book. The premise of it is that in about a month, if you practice watercoloring every day, then you can be a proficient at watercoloring and there's lots of little exercises to do over the course of a month. Um, my daughter really loved this book. She loves these brush pens too. And so I added those and also, um, a rolled up set of, um, watercolor brushes. You can see here too, that the next two slides here, I've got a lot of handy crafts. I've got supplies for wood burning and I have supplies for whittling. I have supplies for bead looming. I have supplies for uh, a wood spindle for making your own yarn. I have a link too to Fire Mountain Gems. It's my favorite place to buy beads in bulk and to get really high quality items. It is like the best resource for buying beads and I've used it for many, many years. Um, you can see this slide includes resources on needle embroidery on um, in a hoop and this section has resources for learning how to pine needle basket weave yes that is a thing my daughter's doing it and she uses hemp string to do the tying and she actually uses the embroidery needles to be able to tie things so this is a really cool setup um, it's a way to do something that's useful with you know, pine needles that you probably have in your yard or your neighborhood somewhere, you do need to use the longer ones, not the shorter ones to be able to do the baskets, but um, that might be of interest to you. Also, I've got supplies over here for wool felting or needle felting. 
that is such a fun thing to do a unique and fun thing to do all my kids have gotten into that all right there's more here there's a camera that's higher quality and simple and light and keeps a good battery life we have the nourishing traditions children's cookbook which is great these blankets from garnet hill my kids absolutely love them i got them those for them for christmas i think it was last year or two years ago they all love them and they're their favorite blankets this is a link to my first sale. It's a website where you can sign your kids up to be entrepreneurs online safely so they can have the experience of running a business and making money online in a safe way. And it includes like a 12 part course on how to run a business and how to set it up. It's really cool. It walks them through all the steps of coming up with a business plan and considering a bunch of aspects. Um, I think it's a really great gift and um, worth worth pursuing. This is a pass to the national parks. Um, you know, it could be the year that you do some extra traveling and fit in visits to more national sites. This could be a really fun gift. It could also be fun to get a state park pass wherever you live and also make a point of getting out more. This is the Yodo, and it is a really cute and really ingenious way of helping little children be able to have access to audio books and audio products that they can manage themselves because they're these little cards and you can basically, um, the children can, can see what the card is and put it in themselves And so they can't have access to anything else. It's completely safe. Like they only have access to the cards and what you put on them. Um, A lot of people in my homeschooling community are downloading the audio files for the books of in the Well-Educated Heart um, program. It's um, on librariesofhope.com. It's free content or there are things on internet archive that they like and they want their kids to be able to listen to it, but they don't want them to have access to everything on the internet. And so this Yodo is a way that people are finding um, an easier way to give their children access to audiobooks, but um, also it keeps them safer. I also have listed here an MP3 player and my friend recommended this to me this year and she's been having good success with it. I'm, I'm trying this out for Christmas this year, to be honest. Um, but you can actually remove the internet browser from it and it comes pre-installed with a bunch of apps. So you can like put the apps that you want on it and then remove the internet and then just have what you want on it. So I'm planning to do kind of a Yodo thing. It's like half of the price. (laughs) I'm going to see if it works. I'll let you know. But my, my friend who got this said it's working well for her family. So I thought it was okay to put on here. My son absolutely loves this little grocery cart. He pushes it around the house all the time. Why do kids like doing that? I don't know, but he does. It's so fun. Also, you can see here, I've got a balance bike. If you have a child who is a toddler and they are not able to ride a bike yet, getting a balance bike is the best way for them to be able to have a fluid transition into bike riding. They start just pedaling and they're able to lift their legs and and establish a sense of balance before they ever get into the confusing work of figuring out pedals. So definitely check out a balance bike for your child if um, if you have a child that's young enough for that. All of my kids learn how to ride bikes with uh, the help of a balance bike. Um, You can see I've got a pickler triangle here. This is a really great toy for young babies and toddlers so that they can develop some skills in climbing. Um, I've got a few pieces. Um, I've got a dome and a a playset and then a link to Lifetime. I think that Lifetime's play equipment is the best. It is just so solid and sturdy. Unless you're going to buy professional commercial play equipment, Lifetime is the way to go. We've really enjoyed it the playset and the dome that we have my kids they play on it every single day of their lives they love those things and they're not worse for the wear with kids hanging on them all the time they're they're really great the trx straps i got those originally for myself to just be able to do workouts at home and to do some sort of body weight exercises but the thing is my kids actually really love being able to play with these straps so 
they like hang from them almost like a silks practice or something and they use it like a swing and they they climb on it it is like turned my house into a jungle gym but it's like mostly contained because it's just with these straps so um you don't have to do like the full ninja thing over every wall in your house. You can just keep it isolated in one spot. The TRX system is a great way to do that. And then I've also got a mini trampoline here because um, it's great to have something that can let your kids get energy out in the winter time when it's cold and snowy and it's harder for them to get out. You can see I've got a list of some great puzzles here. I want to point out this tiger puzzle, Unidragon puzzles, like I have some kids who are seriously into puzzles in this house and we have dozens and dozens of puzzles. We've tried all kinds of things. And I asked my daughter who is like one of the big puzzlers in my house. She's like, I said, what, what is your favorite puzzle or what are some of your most favorite puzzles out of all of them? And she hands down said Unidragon. She's like every single Unidragon puzzle is the best puzzle they're very high quality. She loves, and I love also that every single puzzle piece is its own image. It's like an animal or something. So, um, you have a unique piece for every single piece of the puzzle and they're made out of more of like a wood. So, um, they're really high quality, really beautiful, really unique puzzles. Also, we've got lots of games here. We've got the story time chess to be able to learn how to play chess through storytelling. Sushi Go is super fun. My kids love it. Dominion is one of my personal favorite board games. Well, well it's a card game, I guess. Um, my kids discovered Maki Koro this year with their friends and they're loving it. Labyrinth and Forbidden Island and Bears and Bees. Um, these are all classics that we love. Dixit is a fun party game to kind of get to know people and see how they... Um, what things they notice in imagery. It's kind of like apples to apples, but more picture-based. It's an interesting one and the artwork is beautiful. All right, I've got a lot of stocking stuffer ideas here. Manor is my favorite. I did a study abroad in Vienna, but I love to pick these up from World Market. Actually, World Market also has pistachio baklava and that's something else I like to put in my stockings. Um, but World Market also has tons of little cute like just mini kits of things and sweet little goodies, like cute little mirrors or jewelry or stationary type of things or little plant grow kits. Like one year I got my son a mini bonsai kit and the reviews of those are not very good online, but he actually figured out how to grow a bonsai from it. It just took a really long time. He had to be really patient. So that's cool. Anyways, there's all kinds of interesting stuff at World Market and I usually do most of our stocking stuffing from fun little goodies, the snacks, and the the interesting finds at World Market. Also, Uncommon Goods is a website that has interesting, unique items, and I always like to check those out um, each Christmas because there's usually something in there that it's like, oh yeah, that'd be really cool to add in and, and have something really unique. At the top, you can see I've got set uh, two sets of socks. The number two set those are Bombas. Bombas are my favorite socks hand down. Yes, they are expensive, but they your feet will feel so comfortable. I'm so happy wearing Bombas. Give them a try. And I love that they donate a pair of socks to people in need every time you buy a pair. Also, number three are smart wool socks. They're great for taking your kids hiking. Um, and there's a higher... Uh, there's a higher amount of wool in those, you know, you don't usually have wool in your socks um, unless you're actively looking for that. So it can be a little bit more waterproof and more comfortable and supportive when hiking. Here's super cute little glasses holder. Um, and okay, I need to talk about this. Number eight, these lights, they're called Fravita. That's the company that makes these. They are so cute. They're kind of just like this squish sphere and you click the top there's silicone and you and it will like light up but it's got a nice warm glow and you can adjust the glow by holding it and like lifting up when you want to stop like the amount of light that it's showing and when you're done using it all you have to do is turn it over 
So I have this listed at the beginning of this, this presentation. Oh, my phone's ringing. Um, because when I was nursing my baby, it would be a really helpful way to have enough light to nurse or to change my baby's diaper, but it wouldn't wake up anybody because the light wasn't so great that it would um, cause a circadian rhythm upset. So I loved this as a new mom, well, a, a mom of a new baby. And I, I decided to give these to all of the kids in their stockings one year. And my kids all loved them too. So I've asked my kids, you know, cause I've given them many different book lights and flashlights over the years. There was even one, one time I found like this chameleon light that could kind of change colors. If you put it on something, it could like have this sensing capability. And I was like, so which, which light was your favorite over the years? And all of them said that they loved these lights the best. Um, even more than the chameleon light. They're like, that chameleon was disappointing. It didn't change as much as we thought it would. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so anyways, if you want to have a cool night light for your kids that they can use to like read and, and be up, but not be too disruptive. These are such a great option and it'll make their stockings really special. I also have here listed as number seven and nine. These are Schleich figurines. These are the only animal figurines that we really keep around here. Um, all the other plastic ones, they tend to not be as well made. The paint will wear off quickly. They're hollow in the core. These Schleich figurines are solid and we've been collecting them for years. I always just put a couple of these figurines in my kids' stockings and they get they get new ones every time. And then we keep all of the figurines in kind of like a communal caddy and they play with these for hours. The magnetiles and the Schleich figurines are kind of the main toys in our home. A lot of the other things that we have are, to are tools, but they really love those figurines and they're really beautiful and, and well-made. Um, these Shashibo, Shashibo cubes are super fun kind of fidget toy, but they remind me of magnetiles in the way that they kind of will play with your idea of space. It's a super fun fidget toy. Recommend it a lot. Okay. You can see I've got a lot of other body products here. I've got my favorite styling gel. My son especially likes this one and I've got um, toothpaste. It's a, it's a toothpaste that can help remineralize your teeth. We've got Dr. Squatch soap. It's super, um, it smells nice and is natural. Um, I love the Burt's Bees lip balm and I like to put that in my kids' stockings every year. Also, um, if you have girls who want to have their nails painted, Piggy Paint is like the least toxic paint on the Environmental Working Group website. So this is a safe option for your girls. Um, this is probably not something you're going to put in your kids' stockings, but I saw it and I was like, everybody compliments these when they come over to my house. I need to share this with the world. These are some wooden scrapers that can make it easier if you have cast iron pans to like scrape them without damaging them or to scrape things off of plates or whatever. These kitchen scrapers are fabulous. So why not treat yourself and put it in your own stocking? <laughs> I never like my kids to have food die and I avoid it whenever I can, but I find that it can be difficult at times to find red food dye free candy canes. So I usually order these on the internet. Yum Earth has a, a, um, a food dye free candy cane here. These headbands are super cute. I got these for my girls one year and they all love them several years later. And so um, I totally recommend these. This is number nine. This is RMS Beauty Luminizer. It's like a the peach luminizer. It's almost like a sort of um, like a bronzer almost. It's just like a shimmery type of thing that makes you look better, but doesn't really make you look like you're wearing makeup. I really love RMS because they have really healthy makeup for your, your body and for your skin. Whenever I'm choosing body products, I like to pick ones that I think are higher quality and healthier. And I read a book called No More Dirty Looks and RMS Makeup was recommended in that book. And so that's why I recommended them here. I, I love all of their products and I've been wearing them for years. 
All right, you can see here that I've got a bunch of great read alouds as well. Um, number one, I have a Patricia Polacco book. If you find any books by Patricia Polacco, snag them. They're great. The pictures are are um, lovely and the stories are endearing. The Wilder King trilogy is so funny. It's a retelling of the David story from the Bible and it is just hilarious with these Fiji people these like swamp people that are so wild you will be laughing and crying and your kids will not want to stop hearing this story audible um has a wonderful version of this too so this could be a really fun one to listen to on audible if you have a subscription to audible but reading it out loud yourself will be wonderful I always loved the Bill Pete books growing up as a kid, and so I often will add in another Bill Pete to our collection when um, it's Christmas time, because I always give my kids books on Christmas. Um, I often like to put a book or two in their stockings, too. Sometimes if they're little kids, their picture books are bigger than their stockings, so I just kind of put them underneath. Charlotte's Web is a classic, and... Um, it's just a, it's a perfect, beautiful children's book, um, but it's got wisdom for everybody to, to learn from. We read Little Men last year and my kids loved it. They said that was one of their favorite books this past year. Henry and the Chalk Dragon is one that I gave my son um, a, last year, I think for Christmas and he loved it. And he said, yeah, I, I really like that book. I think about it a lot. So he wanted me to put this in here. It's a book about facing your fears. And this one, The Phantom Tollbooth, is also super fun to read aloud. Um, the Green Ember series is a favorite around here. The series includes four books, but they have four more that are kind of like parallel to the whole Green Ember world. Um, the, the author is Christian, and it's kind of like a modern day sort of Narnia type of thing. All right. Pippi Longstocking, absolutely hilarious. Super fun to read aloud. The Princess and the Goblin by George MacDonald, total classic and has some really beautiful lessons about following the spirit and um, and what that means and, and how that can keep us safe. And then here I've got a few Stephen Kellogg books. His tall tales are so fun to read and the images are so interesting to look at. His artwork is wonderful. So whenever I find a Stephen Kellogg book, I grab it. And then I've also got here King Midas. Um, and that's a wonderful story. But I also loved all, all of the books that I can find that are painted by KY Craft. I I add to my collection. I think there's like a, a the 12 Dancing Princesses and a Beauty and the Beast and Sleeping Beauty there and a Cupid and Psyche. There's a bunch. I just think that it's really worthwhile investing in books that are really beautiful. Um, I'm going to go back up to the top and see if there's anything that I missed that I didn't talk about here. I think you can, you can look. I do want to point out a couple things on this first slide because I didn't explain them. So like these little wooden figurines are sweet little, um, like kind of they have bendable legs, little wooden figurines of animals, and they last for years and years. They're super cute, um, more naturally made because of their materials being wood. And my kids have all loved these figurines. This is what we were doing before we got onto Schleich. These, the Pride and Prejudice and Les Miserables board books are thick and beautiful, and they have really interactive, really great slides and and things that move around there they also like tell the story in a I mean a general term I I really like these board books I think they're really fun and interactive and I think they're definitely worth having around um I do want to mention this is a, a little chew toy it's just all natural rubber this balance board is so fun. My baby loves it. Again, this light is wonderful. I love these for Vita lights. I want to talk about this. This is a music player that plays music at certain healing frequencies that are more in harmony with the body. And this one is specifically playing music that helps you go to sleep at night. I had my, um, my last baby was fussy at night a lot of times, but I found that if I played whole tones music, on this player for my baby at night, he would sleep well through the night. So um, anytime I hear 
moms have uh, or parents have fussy babies, I recommend Whole Tones Music. It really can be a game changer. Um, I do want to point this out because it might be kind of hard to see or really understand what it is, but it's like a little kit where your child can practice screwing in um, and using tools on different types of um, like, I don't know, just like little screws and, and twisty things. So, and bolts and things like that. So that's a really fun toy. This little bunny game, this one we have had for many years and, you know, up front, I'll just say it's really helpful if you hole punch all the corners and put them on a ring, all of these little cards. It's like a puzzle game where there's a picture and you try to match the, the four pieces to match the image on the the page, but some of them were so hard. My kids couldn't figure out how to do them. <laughs> my older kids, but the younger kids love playing with it too. So that's really cool. It's a, it's a fun one to check out. Um, this is a tracing board to get used to tracing proper lettering. Um, and I think that pretty much explains it. Oh, these, these are kind of hard to tell what they are. These are silks. These are play silks and they're beautiful and natural. And the coloring of them is just gorgeous. I love the, um, the earth, wind and fire thing that's going on with these. My kids find a million ways to play with silks. They're, you know, superheroes. They do forts with them. They uh, make them wings. They, uh, they, tie things up with them they find all kinds of ways to use play silks and I I really recommend those I will say this hat is really cute and sweet for winter time anyways with it becoming more cold there's other cute little animal hats they can be used as dress ups too as well um, but what I love about these is that they are um, fair trade so that's pretty great okay I think I basically went through my whole guide. <laughs> if you would like links to these things, um, many of these are affiliate links. And if you would like to support me for the work that I did in putting that together for you to hopefully save you time and energy in, in coming up with, with Christmas gifts that will be beneficial for your family, um, please buy through my links. I would love that support. And you can find the link to my guide down in the show notes below. You just go ahead and click down there and, and open it up. And um, it'll take you right to my site where you can download the document for yourself. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.